My name is Edna Zaretsky Toledano. I'm a sociologist. I used to work in the past as a um, youth pedagogue um, and then to teach. <laughs> um, and I'm now a member of the Haifa municipality, um, representing the um, party uh, for the front for uh, peace and um, uh, equality, which is uh, a Jewish Arab party. And um, the majority of our voters are Arabs, but it's very important for the uh, party to elect someone to, uh, that the representation would be Jewish Arabic and also the, um, the existence of a woman in, in the, in, as a representative is very important for the party. So I'm there. I'm a feminist, of course. Uh, people speak of, of Haifa as a city of coexistence. And when we, uh, when we try to examine the situation in Israel, I, um, I would say that it's the best place of, in Israel to, to um, live in a reality of something that is close to coexistence. Uh, of course, it is, not, it is not perfect, and there is no equality. But in a reality in Israel, where uh, uh, there is discrimination against uh, the Arabs, uh, in the structure of, of, the, of the city, and both in, in, um, in the media, and um, in, in what people feel and think and they express, uh, so, the reality in Israel is uh, uh, disturbing and annoying and frightening, and right now it becomes more and more frightening. So, in that reality, Haifa is something else. We sit now in, in Fatush, one of the coffee shops uh, in Ben Gurion uh, Avenue, which is all a, a place uh, a, of uh, coffee shops owned by Arabs and where Jews and Palestinians spend time together and also work together. Uh, and it, it is, in my eyes, it's the most beautiful uh, uh, street in, in Israel uh, because of that, because there is another reality. We live in a reality where uh, the Arab minority in Israel is, uh, is, not, uh, is not regarded a part of, of the Israeli existence. Uh, people speak about a, about a Jewish state, a Jewish democratic state, but uh, saying that it's, uh, there is a, at least a tension between being a Jew state and a democratic state. So uh, people in Israel uh, grow to think that, uh, that um, Arabs are not part of, of uh, Israel. And many times people, when they speak about the, the citizens of Israel, they say they speak about the nation, the unity of the nation, or the benefit of the nation, uh, instead of speaking about the citizens. Uh, so, uh, in my eyes, it's very dangerous. It's da very dangerous uh, for 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 the future of this country because. Jewish kids grow and they don't internalize the reality of 
equality and the need for uh, equality and, and equal uh, human rights. There is a lot of legislation that is, uh, that is uh, going on now in Israel that is anti-democratic and that is intended to, uh, um, to offend the, uh, the Arabs or their existence in Israel. So on, on this background, I must tell you that I'm very much for the holiday of holidays because there, there is a declaration in, in, in all the events or at, at least in many of the events, uh, there is a declaration that, uh, that speaks for coexistence and for the equality of all people. And even if it's um, sometimes very commercial, that is a, a statement that cannot, cannot underestimate it. In, in, on the background of the reality, it is, it's very important that the mayor of Haifa and, and uh, uh, artists and everyone speaks for peace and for equality. In the past, the events of the um, uh, uh, Feast of the Feast of the Chag HaChagim, Eid al Ayad, uh, created like the the posters that uh, I, you, I, I'm sure you have noticed the posters of poetry on the on the uh, fences of the street in the street, poetry of Jewish and Palestinian poets, and translated and translated in both languages. So everyone who passes in the street can, can uh, see how the poets correspond on, on the, the walls. It's, it, is, uh, it is something where in the public sphere, a person can walk and uh, can see this reality where it is not under the carpet, it is not uh, denied, it is there, Hebrew and Arabic, Jewish and Arab poets, and everything is translated in both languages. People, people are afraid, and, and there are places where people uh, feel uh, uneasy, at unease to speak the Arabic language, and uh, Jews many times have criticism about, about, uh, about uh, the Arabic language spoken at, at uh, the pub public places. Uh, so uh, there was one ev event uh, uh, which I couldn't attend uh, where uh, we tried to present the reality of, uh, of our, our endeavor to create Haifa as a shared city, not only as a mixed city. And and I, then I heard criticisms I heard from officials in the municipality that said that that's uh, 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 something, uh, a fantasy. Uh, it, was, it was said with a lot of criticism. I'm, I'm afraid for the, uh, and, and before that, uh, uh, it's not only my, my grandchildren. It's, uh, it's sometimes it seems that uh, the, the, the very uh, near future is frightening. Because you see our kids grow in a school system that teaches them from the, from the kindergarten. Uh, uh, that we are a persecuted nation, and that uh, and that uh, we must be strong, and uh, and they don't know anything about occupation. They uh, in Israel, there is no green line. There is no uh, um, 
uh, children uh, uh, study in school and on the maps there is not the border of 67, the, the green line. So they grow and they think it is ours and, uh, and whatever is done in the West Bank is, is uh, done in our country. And, um, and they study and they learn that the, the uh, Palestinians are terrorists and, uh, and that we must defend uh, ourselves. And we don't learn about our part in creating the reality and our uh, responsibility for the reality. We are only, ref when we reflect on, on events, we only think about ourselves as victims, not as people responsible to the reality. So um, uh, the future will be that there will be more and more right wing, uh, uh, and it, it, the trend is clear. During the last years, the, the right wing is growing and the left wing is really, or uh, uh, the center is really, uh, becoming smaller and smaller. We celebrated now 250 years of the modern Haifa. And, uh, and so there, there was a coalition that was created, created uh, to, to um, think about it and to, to celebrate events. It's, it's alive all the time. So when, when during the uh, last summer, a, a big um, mass demonstration during the summer, in Haifa, we're here in, in the streets in Ben Gurion Avenue. There were forty thousand people, uh, and and they cheered and uh, and were very um, supportive of uh, Jewish Arab uh, solidarity. They cheered the Arab. Palestinian representatives who spoke about it, and also the Jewish uh, representatives who who had um, um, uh, applauded to, to to that. So I felt it is not just on the small enclaves or or it's all over. There is there is hope in Haifa. Uh, and then, like Sami Michael, Sami Michael is a very known author in Israel, uh, and he lives in Haifa and is the head of the Association for Human Rights. And when he spoke here, he spoke in the same spirit, and and everybody was really applauding to him. This is the reality of of. Uh, both, both the municipality being part of, of the holiday of holidays, not only the associations or not only you know, marginal people and marginal uh, associations.